But we're just going to jerk wires out. We need a pig. We need a pig. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, another night in the garage. It's Friday. It's cold outside. We got the heater going. I know we left the last video, uh, not prematurely. We didn't want to get in a bind having to pull the motor out. So tonight, uh, we're going to drop the transfer case. We're going to pull the motor and transmission out together. Hopefully, we don't have to open the garage door and back it out. Uh, but tonight you'll at least see hopefully the motor coming out of this car. Uh, so watch us work. <laughs> Get that drive line. Draft shaft is full. We need a pig. We need a pig. We need a poke. Probably a bucket. Can you pull that out there? I don't really have a good hold on it. It ain't gonna come out. I can't take it this way. It's about to fall. What's about to fall? Give us an update. I'll give you an update. Okay. We took the wrong bolts out. We accidentally took the tail shaft off the transmission. <laughs> well, we didn't take so we it out had, yet. Well, we didn't separate it yet. So we put those bolts back in, took the right bolts out to remove the transfer case. And then when we did, it was like the Exxon Valdez uh, spilled in <laughs> There's there. a lot of ATF underneath there and about 50 pigs. But the good news is the transfer case is out. Yes, it's on the ground over there. We can't get it out because the Jeep's not jacked up high enough. All right, what's the next steps then? The next step is we're gonna to try to pull the engine and transmission uh -huh. as a combo, uh -huh. and there is a 95% chance that it's not gonna work. How come? Because it's too big. Hmm. And everything's still hooked up. So we're just gonna jerk wires out. You don't need them for this swap anyways, do you? Hopefully not. All right, well, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Deal. <laughs> Update us on this thing. This thing is out. <laughs> we got it out. It's at an extreme angle. As you can see, I don't know my angles very well, but this it looks almost like a, is this a 90? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with it. It's a 90. And we spilled 757 gallons of ATF underneath the tread plate of the lift. So, But the angle, I mean, that kind of helped us out, right? Yeah, so the jack for the transmission that we had underneath there, we eventually had to take it out and just eliminate it because it got to the point where it's just slipping. Um, but the the way it's hooked up really helped out uh, to get yeah. it up and over. The way it's hooked up is uh, we've got a bolt holding it here from Walmart. <laughs> Check out this side over here. It's just a nylon strap. Yep. Exhaust manifold. Yeah, and the old Harbor Freight Jack uh, cherry picker is at its limitation. It's never been this high before. But it's out, and we really didn't run into too many issues. Nothing, nothing major caught. We found a couple of wires or whatever that we had to unhook along the way, but for the most part, it came out pretty smooth. Yeah, the whole wiring harness, which we were not sure because you can't see underneath the manifold, but it does unhook from the computer all the way back. But it was like five plugs and four zip ties, maybe. So. That's yeah, a little so less intimidating. Than really didn't think. run into too many problems as far as getting it out, like uh, some of the issues we've had in the past, you know, maybe with like a Mazda or something. Yeah, yeah, we've done that with a Mazda. We had to take it out twice and put it back, and we did it with a Mini Cooper. This and, was much easier. Yeah, and it's unfortunately, well, fortunately, it's not going back in. We probably had a total of, what, maybe four hours, five? Uh, four. 
we stopped and talked quite a bit. So and eight and you know four working hours. Yes, yeah. I'd say and taking it out. So not too bad. Didn't break anything. So that's good. Nope. So we're gonna get it down on the ground now to a safer area than the Walmart both was holding. Yep, that's exactly right. Or we could leave it there all weekend. Super we, holds. Yeah. It's gonna lay it right there on top of it. Okay. I'm going to get out some scoring and sitting on the legs, right? Hopefully it'll be nice with the fans will line up for the legs, but I don't know if they will or not. Oh, we'll go back and look at the framework over here. That's pretty good up there. Keep trucking. Nope, I'm about to hit. Oh. You're about to go back. Oh, yeah. Can we clear them? Yep. Okay. Hopefully it starts uh, falling your way a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care about that. You see it? That's solid as solid gets. I don't know if it would be if we moved it back because it's sitting on the frame for it. Yeah. We can try to move it back soon and see what it'll do. Hey, that's going to be it for tonight. Great progress. Yeah. I mean, the engine transmission out. We had a couple hours into it, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Wasn't as bad as we thought it was probably going to be on the last episode. Yeah. That's why we stopped. Yeah, yeah. I think we still saved ourselves, though. I mean, we didn't want to burn ourselves out on it. There was no real hurry. Uh, so everything came out. We didn't have to break anything. And it came out pretty smooth. Yeah. Uh, we have got some leads on some engines, but everyone we have uh, inquired about has been sold. So yeah. we yeah. still do not have an LS. We are in the market. We're going to be on the trail pretty hot and heavy this week to try to find something. But it may be a waiting game at this point because they're pretty expensive. And as many of them as there are, they're a little bit hard to find. Yeah, and they get gone super quick. As soon as they post up, they're gone. I know a lot of people use them to build and put in projects and stuff. So, again, if you know where one's at, you're local. I know it sounds crazy, but... Hit us up in the comments. Here, we need a Gen 4, Gen all weight and up, LS. We don't care what size it is. Nope. Yep. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you like our content, you like what we do, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. See you!